Willy Meklebnikov's Laws of Time, a British publication by Martin Skrotsky, Henrietta Sophie Lipschitz, Ulrich Reiterbuch, and Konrad Polti. In 2019, the video artist Kristina Paustia devoted an exhibition to the Russian poet and futurist Willy Meklebnikov. The exhibition Laws of Time, the Future Calculations by Willy Meklebnikov took place in Berlin, Germany. Vilimir Klepnikov was born as Viktor Vladimirovich Klepnikov in Malye Derbeti, Russian Empire, in 1885. He attended school first in Kazan and later in St. Petersburg, where he attended courses in mathematics, natural sciences and Slavistic studies. Later, he turned to be a poet and became a member of Hylia, a group of Russian futurists. His works were considered quite important and he earned the title to be the Lobachevsky of words. He died in 1922 in Satalovo. His enthusiasm for mathematics is reflected in several of his works. He uses notions from algebra, geometry and number theory but he also promoted what he called destiny sciences, using mathematical tools to relate several dates of historic events. For example, one of his tools was to link the number of days in a year to powers of the number three via the following equation. Note, however, that an additional one is added at the end of the equation to obtain the desired result, which shows that Hlebnikov was always willing to sacrifice mathematical rigor in order to be convincing. The life of centuries in the light of three to the n. The eternal duel illuminated by the torches of three to the n. The stuff of victory changes hands, passed from one warrior to another. Waves of two worlds, the alternating spears of east and west, clashing through the centuries. The dialogue, teacher and student, is part of Klapnikov's theoretical writings on language. The editors of his collected works characterized this part as an intent to create an internal system of communication to provide humanity with a single, universal, scientifically constructed language. Within this language, to Klepnikov, mathematics plays a crucial part. However, this is also in accordance with the general scheme of the manifesto A Slap in the Face of Public Taste, also from 1912, which emphasized the need for poets to create new languages. And what else have you discovered? You see, I keep thinking about the action of the future and the past, but given the weight of ancient books that keeps pressing down on humanity, is it even possible to conceive such matters? No mortal, cast your eyes peacefully downwards. Whatever happened to the great destroyer of books, the waves are as shaky as footing in the dry lands of ignorance. Anything else? Anything else? Yes, you see, what I wanted was to read the writing traced by destiny on the scroll of human affairs. I have discovered that in general a time period Z separates similar events Z is 365 plus 48 times Y times X, where Y can have a positive or negative value. The conquest of Egypt in 1250 corresponds to the fall of the kingdom of Pergamum in 133. The Polovtsians overran the Russian steppe in 1093. 1383 years after the fall of Samium in 290, should we not therefore expect some state to fall in 1917? In this writing, K. 
Klebnikov calculated and predicted a fall of a state to happen in 1917. Five years later, he took great pride in this prediction, as he, in hindsight, related it to the Russian Revolution. Klebnikov illustrates the validity of the polynomial 365 plus 48 times y and all times x, amongst others with the following pair of happenings. Between the Arab Islamic conquest of Spain in 711 AD and the end of the Third Intermediate Period of Egypt in 672 BC, by 1383 years. This can be derived by plugging in x equals 3 and y equals 2 into the formula. In his writings, Klebnikov mentioned several examples whose formula can be applied to, like the following ones. Here, all dates mentioned in the writing, teacher and student, are shown as vertices of a graph. An edge is drawn if Klebnikov established a connection between two dates. A dotted line is drawn if the differences of the dates are plus minus one away from the values of his polynomial. The dashed lines show connection established by his polynomial when using the y values of Klebnikov in teacher and student and arbitrary values for x. Here, all connections satisfying Klebnikov's polynomial with Klebnikov's dates and all possible values for x and y are shown. The last graph shows all connections satisfying Klebnikov's polynomial with the dates from a random number sample and all possible values for x and y. The last graph already raises the suspicion that what we see in Klebnikov's laws of time in his predictions is actually just random data. To better understand this, we will introduce some notation first. By p, x, y, we will denote the polynomial of Klebnikov's writings where x and y are integer numbers. Furthermore, we will consider an interval, i, a, from 0 to some number a, natural number, which will be the interval from which we pick the years that could possibly be connected. In general, to investigate a similar time frame as Slepnikov did, we will investigate a equals 5000. That is, we pick from a time period of about 5,000 years. We will pick numbers m1 to mn from this interval randomly. These are the years that Klepnikov looked at. And we call two numbers, mi and mj, connected if there are integers xij and yij such that mi minus mj is exactly the value of the polynomial evaluated x, x, i, j and y, i, j. Note that for m, i, m, j with non-equal indices, these two can be equal and are trivially connected by x, i, j equals zero. Therefore, it is important to consider these differences as given by the polynomial. Considering this polynomial, it is clear that not all differences are realizable. For instance, 365 mod 48 is 29 or negative 19. Therefore, no difference smaller than 19 is realizable by this polynomial. We define a set of realizable differences, dA, which gives us exactly those numbers that are smaller than our cutoff factor a, but are realizable by some numbers x and y, some integers, from this polynomial. To enumerate over dA, we simply iterate over ranges for x and y and evaluate pxy. In the paper, we derive upper and lower bounds on both x and y to ensure that this iteration process is actually finite. Particularly, for a equals 5000, we only have to iterate over x from 
negative 263 to 263 and y from negative 111 to positive 96. And we obtain that in this interval there are 2479 realizable differences by the given polynomial. To compute the connection probability that we expect in the graph, for the differences dA and any pair from IA, the connection probability is given by the formula shown here. Note that dA includes both positive and negative differences. Thus, in the complete difference matrix, we only have to consider the upper triangular matrix, therefore the denominator. See the entire paper for a full discussion of this computation. In particular, for the case of Hlebnikov, for A equals 5000 and the 77 chosen numbers, respectively his dates, we would expect a total of about 675 edges in the connection graph. And indeed, in the graphs that we've shown you, the graph based on Hlebnikov's numbers has 690 edges and the random graph generated by us has 678 edges. This further explains how Hlebnikov's process has nothing of a law but is entirely random. Finally, we can even go a step further. Assume that we, for now, only have two dates, M1 and M2, and thus, without loss of generality, we can assume M1 to be zero. We define the following new set, dA prime. It consists of all those differences from dA that don't have a smaller difference within dA with which it shares a common factor. Then, by convergence properties of infinite products, we compute the following. The probability of M2 not being in dA, that is, the probability of M1 being zero, connected to M2, can be expressed via this product, it's a finite product, and this will tend to zero, for A going to infinity, if and only if the following sum goes to infinity, for A going to infinity. However, the latter can be expressed by a theorem of Dirichlet. Therefore, we know that for a growing A and a comparably small number of years N, the probability of two arbitrary numbers being connected is tending to 1. Thus, the connection graph is complete. Therefore, whatever years you pick from a very large interval of time, you can expect for a growing interval a complete connection graph. You can expect as many connections as you want to. Thus, using this mathematical approach to Hlebnikov's theories, we completely debunk any mythical connections that he ascribes to his connections of years. Imagine a young man with big, restless eyes, holding a stringed instrument, something like a balalaika. He plays. Riveted to the strings of this instrument is the flickering phantom of humanity. Once, science had learned to measure light rays. It became possible to manipulate their movement. Let us suppose that a wave of light is inhibited by intelligent beings who possess their own government, their own laws, even their own prophets. Let us take, for example, the law of the births of similar people. It states that a ray, the crests of whose waves mark the birth years of great individuals with identical destinies, completes a single vibration in 365 years. The visitors of the exhibition were invited to investigate the predictions obtained by Klebnikov's polynomial in a more personal manner. On the website shown here, a visitor could enter his or her year of birth. Then connections to the years of birth or of death, respectively, of famous mathematicians or composers are constructed. 
Repeating the experiments yields more and new connections. This reveals the sheer number of possible connections on the one hand, and on the other hand, thereby the arbitrariness. Thank you for your attention, and thanks to Christina Postian for getting in touch with us.